Plan A, contract A, or Plan B, contract B. Which will you choose? Plan A, you may honor a contract, we'll call contract A. It has been in existence for a long time, but has been violated almost since its inception. Plan B, you may legally and lawfully abandon that contract and legally and lawfully enter into a new contract, which we'll call contract B, that provides remedy and relief from the damages of contract A. Contract A, funds are extracted from you to wage unlawful wars and all manner of unchristian programs. If you refuse to fund these programs, you can be fined, imprisoned, or even tortured. Contract B, you have free will to fund what you are led to fund. Contract A, the government owns the creator-made property you live on and requires you to pay a yearly tribute to remain on that property. Contract B, you do not pay any tribute for this property you live on, and you pass this property to whomever you choose without a transfer fee. The same applies to other properties such as cars and animals. Contract A, what you may grow, purchase, or consume for use, regardless of need, is subject to government permission. Contract B, you have the decision and responsibility to make such decisions for you and your dependents. Contract A, if you decide to get married, the government mandates you must get their permission. Contract B, marriage was instituted by God himself for the purpose of preventing the promiscuous intercourse of the sexes for promoting the domestic felicity and for securing the maintenance and education of children. Noah Webster, 1828 Dictionary. If you decide to marry, you only look to God for permission and guidance. Contract A. You are told that funds will be extracted from you into a program called Social Security that you must participate in. The creators of this SS program do not participate in it because they have created a program for themselves that is enormously better. They frequently, against their promise, remove funds from your program to fund their other programs to the point where it is common knowledge that your program is going bankrupt. Contract B, you have the responsibility to secure your future. Contract A, you must get permission to do a myriad of things like collect rainwater, go fishing, own property, start a business, build a home, get married, hunt, own a weapon, cut hair, protest, and sell a product, including food. The reason given for many of these restrictions is that you have been classified as an enemy of your own government since 1933, according to the 1933 Emergency War Powers Act, also known as the 1933 Emergency Banking Act. Contract B, you have free will to do these things without special permission and take responsibility for them. Contract A. You will accept unlawful pieces of debt instrument promissory notes as real money even though it has no intrinsic value. You will not complain that all power over the money system was unlawfully passed from Congress to private banking families. You will pay interest on every fraudulent bill created even though you paid all costs for their creation. This unlawful arrangement provides massive funds that the banking families may use for their own interests, not yours. Contract B. You have the choice whether or not to use this money. In summary, Contract A. It is a very costly optional contract. It costs you labor, money, and freedom. Contract A is the de facto, mostly unlawful system unrecognizable to the men who created the American Constitution. That original contract was flawed, but infinitely better than the monstrous outgrowth we see today. Contract B. There is no cost. It is a gift. Plan A, Contract A, or Plan B, Contract B. After a five-year battle by those who were led to continue beyond rational reasoning, the choice is now yours. Contract B is based on God's blueprint and law form, free will, and responsibility to God who ordained it. Which will you choose? Hudoc.info